Nothing can stop third world war three. Nothing can stop it. Nothing can because it's a project. It's a it's a drafting. It's a design of God that it was happen. It's after the word apple that Jesus will now come. Amen. Today, what actually want make me to do this video is the revelation I saw today. In my revelation today, in this morning, I saw some people, I myself I was there, like Israelites, they gather in Africa here in the in the camp that we have in nigeria here our camp here in nigeria so people gather from different places and country they were there as we were there then i saw some 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 i can call them soldiers i can call them uh uh weakest i can call them they're just like a a, a, a arm, armed forces people you know they came with guns different kind of guns and they surround us so when they surround us they begin to talk and try to talk and you know try to kind of question us and so on and so forth but in that revelation i saw that everybody is not afraid we are looking at them like this as they surround then the leader of that team said shoot them so they raise the gun and they begin to, to shoot every one of us. But what happened is that as they are shooting, the gun was falling. It was not releasing any of us. So we were like this. We didn't even talk at all. We we're just looking at them. Very rest of might, peace. Were inside. I can see, I can sense the peace. I can sense the peace in that gathering. We were just like this. Looking at them. As they were shooting and shooting and shooting, we were not talking. Okay. The short term, so their leader said, Come and shoot him. That was me. That I think he's the leader. Come and shoot him. So they came and they shoot. That gun was failing. And that caused them to be afraid as they were afraid. They wanted to run away. And I told them, Stop. As I was, I told them, Stop, drop your weapon. So as I was commanding them, they were dropping their weapon and I was arresting them. As I was arresting them, there's a voice the Lord spoke to me. And that was why I want to do this video. The voice said, I should tell people that it is going to be in the saints, in the camp of the only saints, that there will be protection all over the world. The third world three, the third world war three, that the third world war that is going to happen, nothing can stop it. I repeat myself again and again. The World War Three that wanted to happen, nothing can stop it. Nothing, not even a prayer, not fasting. If you like, go for 100 days fasting and prayer, no eat. You will just surprise that you will die and go to hell. Because nothing will happen. Nothing can stop Third World War Three. That it was a third world war. Nothing can stop it. Nothing can because it's a project. It's a it's a drafting. It's a design of God that it must happen. It's after the word happen that Jesus will now come. So that is the reason why there is no way it will not happen. Now listen to me. Listen to me. Whether you like it or not, America will be destroyed. All Japanese will be destroyed. Asians will be destroyed. Mention those names. UK, 
England, I don't know, uh, Germany, uh, Italy, China, and uh, call them by name, you know them all. They will all be destroyed. All those European countries, Asia countries, they will be completely leveled down. When I talk about destroying, I'm not talking about just bombs. When they say they want to use nuclear weapon, wait, do you understand what is called nuclear weapon? Many of the Christians that is everywhere, they didn't understand the mystery. The, the English call nu nu nuclear weapon. They didn't understand what they do. Nuclear weapon, when they shoot it once, it can destroy a whole country. Once. One nuclear weapon can destroy the whole country. Atomic bomb. Atom I it can destroy 10 states at a time it can and when it destroys everything spoils it includes your water spoils you will not be able to drink water because that water will be contaminated you will not be able to even walk because that ground will be totally massed that road you see that is beautiful everything will be destroyed completely massed and destroyed completely destroyed everything will completely go home the air pollution will be everywhere the atomic bomb will cause air pollution that everyone that smells it dies now the lord told me in that revelation and told me to tell you clearly this is what the lord is saying now let me now if any Christian die in this third world war, you won't make it to heaven. So hear me very well. Why? You disobey the instruction of God. If anyone will make it to heaven, probably maybe by grace. But I doubt you making it to heaven. Now, I want to show you a video. A video of a woman who prophesied 1964 about 1963 or is that 1963 or 1964 just 1960s a old woman of 90 years old the woman is about to die when she when she saw the revelation of what is going to happen Jesus came and show her everything including his coming and after the woman tell it to a man of god the woman died that woman was just to give that message before she died now i will i will play the video now then you will watch it for yourself 1968 prophecy by 90 year old woman in norway an old woman of 90 from Valdres in Norway had a vision from God in 1968. The evangelist Emanuel Minos had meeting services where she lived. He had the opportunity to meet her, and she told him what she had seen. He wrote it down, but thought it to be so unintelligible that he put it in a drawer. Now, almost 30 years later, he understands he has to share the vision with others. The woman from Valdres was a very alert, reliable, awake and credible Christian, with a good reputation among all who knew her. This is what she saw. I saw the time just before the coming of Jesus and the outbreak of the Third World War. I saw the events with my natural eyes. I saw the world like a kind of a globe and saw Europe, land by land. I saw Scandinavia. I saw Norway. I saw certain things that would take place just before the return of Jesus, and just before the last calamity happens. If you see this woman, you will see that the, 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 according to the revelation the woman saw, the woman saw what must happen, what must happen worldwide. It's a compulsory subject, it's a compulsory something, it must happen worldwide. He said he saw third world war. He said before Jesus Christ come, he saw third, she saw third world war. That will happen with her natural eyes. She was not dreaming. She was not just seeing vision. The Lord, the Lord opened her eyes to see it live. 
to see lives. Continue. A calamity the likes of which we have never before experienced. She mentioned four waves. One. First before Jesus comes and before the third world war breaks out there will be a detente like we have never had before. There will be peace between the superpowers in the east and the west, and there will be a long peace. Remember, that this was in 1968 when the Cold War was at its highest, Eminos. In this period of peace there will be disarmament in many countries, also in Norway, and we are not prepared when the war comes. The Third World War will begin in a way no one would have anticipated, and from an unexpected place. He said the Third World War is going to happen in the time that no one expected. That no one expected. Where it will come from, no one will tell. It's going to be in no man, no man, no times. And no man, no man, no man times. Whereby you are going to your working place. You want to go to shopping. Now, you are hearing about the Third World War. It was just like it, it's like a joke to your hearing. You know, you didn't even see anything coming. It's like things are going no man, no man. Things are clear. No problem everywhere. No war, no everything. Things are going well. It's fine. The same way it's going to be going, Third World War is going to broke that same way. You are not going to fail. You are not going to have a warning beforehand whereby I will tell you that go and out, go, stay, go and stay at home, you know, stay lock yourself. Even though you stay at home, you will still be perished. Once you are in that white country, problem comes there it is it, something that is clear i just wonder how people reasons with many evidence you have seen that there's going to be third world war people are still going to the white country to do what because of money but this is the basic and the pure things you must know that is going to happen without you knowing anything it's going to happen suddenly suddenly very sudden without knowing anything Two, a lukewarmness without parallel will take hold of the christians a falling away from true living christianity christians will not be open for penetrating preaching they will not, like in earlier times, want to hear of sin and grace, law and gospel, repentance and restoration. There will come a substitute instead, prosperity, happiness Christianity. The important thing will be to have success, to be something, to have material things, things that God never promised us in this way. If you look at what he's saying, it's a prophecy the woman was giving. 1968. The person is 1968, many years ago. He said, one of the things you are going to see that is going to happen in the church, he said there will be lukewarmness in the church. People will not want to hear holiness again. Holiness message will become so irritating in their hearing. Repentance will be a problem. Restitution will not be something that will be acceptable again. They want to hear things going on, rocking in the church, you know, they want to hear you preach about prosperity, how you are going to become blessed. You see, these are going to be signs. Signs. That this thing is about to take place. If you look at the church now, how many holiness church is surviving? Very little. Very holiness church is surviving right now. The church that is getting multitude, abundant people, a church that are praying for healing, fuck, fake, fake, fake healings, arrange miracles, a selling of anointed oil. Ah, oh, these are what is going on in the church now. Prophecy. They want to hear about prophecy. They want to hear you tell them they are going to become rich. They try that. Everybody is not trying to build things. They want to acquire wealth. This is the time to tell you. The Lord was showing the woman that when you see this thing happen, problem there. Third World War will broke out. 
and when you broke out there is a problem Clarity, happiness christianity the important thing will be to have success to be something to have material things things that god never promised us in this way churches and prayer houses will be emptier and emptier instead of the preaching we have been used to for generations like to take your cross up and follow jesus entertainment art and culture will invade the churches where there should have been gatherings for repentance and revival this will increase markedly just before the return of jesus 3 there will be a moral disintegration that old norway has never experienced the likes of People will live together like married without being married. If you look at that video very well, the woman talk about entertainment in the church. Look at the church now. What are you seeing there? She churches with a lot of disco light. And the funniest part is that this thing, they have taken it as a normal way of life. Using discos in the altar, on the altar, on the pulpit. You will see people, Christian gospel musicians, they are dancing in the pulpit with their with their leggings, uh, with their with their pints, hopefuls. They'll be dancing, worldly dancing, worldly styles in the church, like as if they are in the party. You will see a gospel ministers using earring as a man, using earring, doing you know, they are plating their hair as a man, having a having a plating here wig i don't know i don't know what they are this is what is going on in the church it's a prophecy all these things have not yet come to they, they haven't had have this experience in 1968 when the woman was having this revelation it it has not yet come out now if you look at what he was saying it's even will be in they will just be they will be putting they will be having intercourse in that you know a lot of uh, you know sexual dirtiness everywhere to police themselves god was just showing what is going to happen what we occur first before all this thing happens now the moment i said he mentioned something he mentioned tv 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 and at that time she mentioned he said there will be a lot of program tv a lot of program and that time tv just came out to no way the woman is from no way in 1968 is when tv just came how did the woman know everything that must happen it was god who showed her uncleanness before marriage and much infidelity in marriage will become the natural the common and it will be justified from every angle it will even enter christian circles and we pet it even sin against nature just before Jesus returned there will be TV programs like we have never experienced. TV had just arrived in Norway in 1968. Eminos. TV will be filled with such horrible violence that it teaches people to murder and destroy each other, and it will be unsafe in our streets. People will copy what they see. There will not be only one station on TV, it will be filled with stations. She did not know the word channel which we use today. Therefore she called them stations. Imenos. TV will be just like the radio where we have many stations, and it will be filled with violence. People will use it for entertainment. We will see terrible scenes of murder and destruction one of the other, and this will spread in society. Sex scenes will also be shown on the screen, the most intimate things that takes place in a marriage. I protested and said, we have a paragraph that forbids this kind of thing. Imenos. There the old woman said it will happen, and you will see it. All we have had before will be broken down, and the most indecent things will pass before our eyes. 4. People from poor countries will stream to Europe. In 1968 there was no such thing as immigration. Imenos. They will also come to Scandinavia, and Norway. There will be so many of them that people will begin to dislike them and become hard with them. They will be treated like the Jews before the Second World War. Then the full measure of our sins will have been reached. I protested at the issue of immigration. I did not understand it at the time. 
Imenos. The tears streamed from the old woman's eyes down her cheeks. I will not see it, but you will. Then suddenly, Jesus will come and the Third World War breaks out. It will be a short war, she saw it in the vision. All that I have seen of war before is only child's play compared to this one, and it will be ended with a nuclear atom bomb. The air will be so polluted that one cannot draw one's breath. It will cover several continents, America, Japan, Australia and the wealthy nations. The water will be ruined contaminated. We can no longer till the soil. Hear that what the woman said. He said, all the world she has been seeing at that time is a shite play. A shite play. That this one, this third war, though it will be short, but it will be so mighty and so serious that everywhere will be perished. The war will took over every Europe, America, Japan. You have the, I have a global something here. <laughs> Imagine all these places are destroyed. This Russia, this is a uh, Ukraine, this is a uh, you call, call them. We have Yemen, you have uh, begin to look at them, Turkey, Iran, Pakistan. I don't know whether they are all those places. All those things, all those Asian countries, all those uh, Americans, uh, call them, all of them will be completely leveled down. Leveled down. If you look at Revelation, it said they will only breed because the, 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 the air will be contaminated. They will only breed, only breed. Children will be dying in your presence. All will be dying in your presence. The young and old. In this way, this is not me. This is just a revelation of the young old woman who has revelation and died. The woman must have been with Jesus right now. But this is a warning from the Lord. It's not until we put fire for mouth. Now you go tell me, say, what will they tell you? Na serious matter. It's not when we put air for ground, we do use air, they work. Now you will know, see what you talk. No, before joke. This is a revelation we are telling you. Do you know what the Lord told me? I will tell you after the revelations. What God told me this morning, I'm going to uh, explain to you very well so that you can know. Oh, ah. He said, even the ground will be so destroyed that they will not be able to toil with the soil. Which means that soil will not produce fruit again. The soil will be totally destroyed. Water will be totally destroyed. When you want to take water, you'll be seeing a lot of uh, different chemical poisons there. You take it, you die. This is what is going to happen to this European company, countries. You can't change it. You can't run away from it. It's going to happen. And you as a Christian, you say, hey, this man is just looking for somebody in his cap. Wait. For what? For what? I must warn you. And this is just a pure message. I must warn you. I must warn you. I have told you many times. Leave that place. You are hearing third war. You are hearing it. He says it's going to happen in a time you didn't expect. Least expected. And when it happens, problem will happen. If you hear what the woman say again, you will understand that it's more than what you take. The result will be that only a remnant will remain. The remnant in the wealthy countries will try to flee to the poor countries, but they will be as hard on us as we were on them. I am so glad that I will not see it. But when the time draws near, you must take courage and tell this. I have received it from God, and nothing of it goes against what the Bible tells. If you look at it very well, you will see that the woman was saying something. He said, the world was, is going to be so powerful that almost all the human nature will be destroyed. 
almost all. He said, only the remnant will be remaining. Who are the remnant? The saint. He said, the remnant will be remaining during the war, not when the war is. Now, and along the way, along the war time, the remnant in the wealthy country will be trying to run to the African. <laughs> hey, they will try to be coming to Africa so that they can come and take refuge. He said, but it will be very hard. Which means that there will not be way out. Now, let me tell you something. This is a prophecy of the living God that happened since 1968. What are we now? 2004, uh, 2024. 2024. That's what we have now. And in our present, in our very own eyes, we are seeing it. I want to tell you very well. Whether you like it or not, the Lord told me something this morning. When he showed me that revelation, he said, I should tell everyone. He said, I should tell people, the, the Christian, the Jewish, the Israelite, that in the oversee, he said, you are just destroying yourself. The Lord told me that the people there, you are going to America to go and build house, to go and buy house. Meanwhile, you are supposed to be in the camp where you shall be saved in Africa, in Nigeria. Where you are supposed to be saved. That is where you're supposed to be building your house there. Many of you, it will be close to the time of the war. You become it. You will eventually start sleeping inside the bush. Are you even aware that there is a prophecy in Nigeria right now? There is a place in Nigeria that a great man of God, who God used in Africa, opposed to Joseph, and Yobabolala, I prophesize that there will be a regarding. Are you aware? And that is where we are now. There is a great prophecy in that place that there will be a regarding of the whole worldwide in Nigeria. Go to internet. There are messages. Some are saying this one. This one. Let me tell you something very well. Many of you, you are saying you are having some camp. Who told you? Many Africa will be destroyed. The only people that is going to be remaining are only people who are in the in the camp of God, where God is going to stay with them and, and guide them. Whether you like it or not, the regarding of Israel, God is talking about, is going to, is gathering now. It's not, it's gathering now. And he's building himself to stay with He's, he's, he's building his camp himself. The money you are using to go and build in the white country, the Lord I should tell you that very soon, atomic bomb will destroy your house. That house, that car you have there that you are seeing in the white country, atomic bomb will destroy it very soon. That is the reason why you're supposed to be to be building now in the camp. Many of you are supposed to be coming to the camp now and be investing there, building your house, building what where you are going to stay when these things happen. But you are there busy with businesses you are there going around shopping around he says it's going to happen like a sudden sudden by the grace of the living god i don't just have a mountain i was somebody was telling me he said that he had about uh, so i was i was having a mountain so he too he was led and he to go and have a mountain and that mountain could last and cause a problem i said is it god that told you he said well i'm less i said oh I was seven years old when Jesus Christ appeared to me physically, not in the dream. Physically, the same way God appeared to Moses. Jesus appeared to me when I was seven years old and told me about regarding that He has sent me to regard the people. I know many of you are looking, you are support, you are your mindset was like, is the people who must regard that somebody who must regard the world must be white man, or he must be very old. Or he must be, you know, he must be having a white beard, and he must be. Wait, if that is what you are looking at, then you are going to lose your time.
by the special grace of the living God, I'm using this time to tell you, awake now. Now that you can see for yourself what is going on in the world, there's a threat everywhere. Everybody, it's not a news again. It's not things you are going. It's something is going. It's going on every day. It's going on every day. It's not something that is new. There's going to be what turn what war. But I will advise you to begin to get your place now, before it is too late, before you eventually get encamped where you are not supposed to be getting encamped. Many of you that are having a camp. You want to go out. Some people I have we have a camp in uh, Asia, have a camp in America, have a camp in so, yeah. Go, um, there will be level down. There will be level down. All of them leveled. When they say something level that I miss, there will not be a stone standing. Level down. Even the road will be destroyed. Even their water will be destroyed. It is a plan of God. After this thing happened. The, according to rumor said and according to the bible the bible talk about this in Matthew chapter 24 he said after the tribulation the son of the son of man what we come so after the third world war jesus christ will appear a world is enough for your eyes i i there's no other way i can tell you that the way i'm telling you Come now, don't waste your time. Whether you are in Nigeria, you are a white, even though you are a white, if you believe you are a child of God and you know you are an Israel, come to the camp before it is too late. I pray God be with you. Don't just listen to this message. Share it with your family. It's time to tell your wife. It's time to tell your family because you never can tell. Tomorrow might be the time when something will happen. Tell everyone. You yourself. Run very fast. Don't stay to it. That Nigeria you have you have destroyed will still be the one. God will still bring you to if you are Israelite, if you are not going to be destroyed. And hear it very well. What God said to me: if you will die in that war, you won't make it to heaven because you die in death of disobedience. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Subscribe to my channel. Please press like so that you can go far. I share it to everyone. I remain Apostle Peter Daniel. God bless you.